A biome where grasses predominate is known as grassland. Grasslands are broad, open spaces with a variety of grass species that are present on all continents with the exception of Antarctica. Grasslands occasionally have trees, shrubs, and wildflowers growing in them. Mammals, reptiles, birds, and insects are among the creatures that do well in grasslands. Grasslands first appeared during the Cenozoic era, which corresponded to a cooling and drying era in the worldwide climate around 65.5 million years ago. The grass family Phocia, or Graminae, developed during the Cenozoic era. Depending on the area or continent, numerous names are assigned to grasslands. In North America, they are referred to as prairies, whereas in South America, they are known as pampas. Savannas are tropical grasslands in Africa that get periodic rainfall. In Australia, these regions are referred to as rangelands. Steps are a term used to describe arid grasslands found throughout Southeast Europe and Asia. The terms tundras refer to grasslands in the north, desert grasslands to those in the south, Montana grasslands to those in mountainous regions, and flooded grasslands to those that are submerged in water. Antarctica does not contain any grassland. Grasslands have varying degrees of heat and dryness, particularly during the summer months. It is crucial to remember that deserts have a hotter and drier climate than grasslands. Grasslands in the Northern Hemisphere may experience very low temperatures of as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. The Southern Hemisphere can experience temperatures as high as 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Grass grows well in grasslands because of their climate. A forest of trees could not be supported by little rainfall or precipitation, but grasses can. Low precipitation levels are not the only factors that keep grasslands healthy. Regular wild land fires and animal grazing also help. Grass regenerates faster, healthier, and thicker after a fire. Grassland animals also learn to adapt to flames by running away or digging underground. Tropic and temperate grasslands are the two main categories. Mostly located in northern Australia and sub-Saharan Africa, tropical grasslands are hot, dry savannas. These areas are close to the equator and have both wet and dry seasons in their mostly warm climate. Compared to temperate grasslands, tropical grasslands receive more rainfall, particularly during the rainy season. Tropical grasslands get between 50.8 and 127 millimeters, 20 and 50 inches, of precipitation annually. Asia and South America are home to savannas as well. Tropical grasslands are home to both grasses and trees, albeit the trees are scarcer in this area due to prolonged dry spells with little rainfall. In tropical grasslands, the soil is frequently reddish and not particularly productive. The primary geographical regions for temperate grasslands include North America, Argentina, Eastern Europe, and portions of China and Australia. Due to their separate hot and cold seasons, temperate grasslands experience drastically different temperatures than tropical grasslands. Snowfall is a type of precipitation that people in the Northern Hemisphere encounter. Because temperate grasslands offer more productive soil, the majority of these regions have been turned to agriculture and grazing in the United States. Grasslands support a wide variety of animals, depending on the location, and offer an amazing diversity of life. Rats include mice, 
prairie dogs, ground squirrels, and meerkats are frequently found in many kinds of grasslands. These rodents are often eaten by snakes and raptors including eagles, hawks, and owls. All grasslands are usually home to grazing animals like deer, zebras, and antelopes as well as birds like meadowlarks, sparrows, mountain plovers, and larks. Larger animals also flourish in these habitats, such as gigantic anteaters, blue wildebeests, bison, and gazelles. The American bison was formerly the dominant animal in American grasslands, but its numbers in the prairies have decreased since the 19th century due to increased demand for their meat and hides. Grasslands are home to a variety of predators, including wolves, coyotes, hyenas, cheetahs, foxes, and weasels. While antelopes, coyotes, rattlesnakes, and rabbits are typically found in American prairies, lions, elephants, zebras, and giraffes are widespread in Africa. Grasslands are a perfect home for reptiles since they lack large trees and shrubs that may conceal their prey. Black mambas, leopard tortoises, and Nile crocodiles are a few of the reptiles that call grasslands home. Plants include grasses, herbs, wildflowers, shrubs, and non-woodier flora make up a grassland environment. Grasslands are drier than forests, thus the plant species there have adapted to frequent precipitation or lack of water. The amount of rainfall in a certain location determines the height of the plants. The soil is fertile, and the grasses are usually short, measuring around 8 to 10 inches, 20 to 25 centimeters, in northern regions with dry summers and chilly winters. Conversely, grasses in southern climates can reach heights of up to 7 feet, 2.1 meters. Perennial grasses, buffalo grass, blue grime, and purple needle grass are the common grasses found in temperate grasslands. Along with cactus and sagebrush, temperate grasslands are home to blooming species including sunflowers, milkweed, wild indigos, yarrow, coneflowers, goldenrods, and clovers. Red oats grass, Rhodes grass, Bermuda grass, lemongrass, elephant grass, blue fescue, and feather grass are more prevalent in tropical meadows. The Senegal gum acacia and the baobab tree are also prevalent on African savannas. Grasslands are abundant in natural resources, food, and fuel. Grasslands also contribute significantly to the global carbon cycle and support biodiversity on a big scale. Grasslands are threatened by urbanization and agriculture. Numerous grasslands in North America have already been transformed into farmlands and pastures. As a result, grassland animals lose their natural habitat and run the danger of going extinct. The illegal hunting practices that result in the hunting of elephants in African savannas pose a threat to the ecosystem of grasslands. Big creatures like elephants have a job to do, which is to smash trees that would choke off the grass. Subscribe, like, and share to support our mission of making learning a joyful journey for every child.